Hi there everybody, Keith Schweigert here for Lancaster Online with your wrap up of tonight's Lancaster Lebanon League football action from week six of the regular season. We're just getting into the home stretch of the year. We got a lot of big scores tonight, so let's get right to it. We'll start with the game I was at tonight, and that was the big Lancaster Lebanon League Section 2 showdown between Cocalico and Mannheim Central in, Co in Mannheim. And what can I say about this one? There was just tons of offense. Two teams combined for 969 total yards. Uh, looked like it was going to go Central's way early. The Barons got out to a 14-0 lead, but Cocalico kind of settled things down. They fought back. They had it tied at 14 at halftime, and then in the second half, the Eagles just exploded. It was uh, Final score was 48-35 Cocalico. Uh, Spencer Moser and Nick Reitenbach had two touchdown runs each. Brock Gosling ran for a touchdown, threw for another one, and Jet Janis even got into the act with a 76-yard touchdown bomb. So Cocalico racks up 588 yards of offense against the Barons. That's hard to believe. And uh, Colin Fry was one of the stars for Mannheim in a losing effort. He had two touchdown passes and two touchdown runs. But Cocalico stays on top of Section 2 with a very impressive win. Elsewhere in the section, Lampeter Strasburg stayed right with Cocalico in that section race. They had another big win themselves. Pioneers pummeled Elizabethtown 42-14. Ryan Lawler, three touchdown runs for LS in this one, while the defense held E-Town to 201 total yards, but they forced three turnovers and racked up six sacks. So LS has won four in a row after an 0-2 start, and they are tied for first place with Cocalico, as I mentioned. Remember, they're your two-time defending champions, so you can't count out the Pioneers. And if you're wondering, they play Cocalico on October 19th, so that'll be a big one. Uh, in the other Section 2 games, Conestoga Valley gets his first win of the season. Uh, they beat Ephrata 28-14. Anthony Brown, 198 rushing yards, two touchdowns on 35 carries for the Buckskins. And also, Solanco got off the schneid. Uh, the Golden Mules beat Lebanon 35-21, thanks in part to four touchdown runs by Derek Rudy. Lebanon uh, still winless on the season. The Cedars are really struggling. Okay, let's move on to Section 1, and there your front runner, Penn Manor. They stayed red hot. The Comets knock off McCaskey 42-21. Six different players score touchdowns for Penn Manor. Adam Saad, the quarterback, uh, he went 15 of 22 for 216 yards two touchdowns, so Penn Manor is 6-0, looking very good. Aaron Swinton had a big night and a losing effort for McCaskey. He had two touchdowns, but the Red Tornado, uh, they fall again. Elsewhere, Mannheim Township sets up a showdown with Penn Manor next week. Uh, the Blue Streaks got their second win in a row. They hammered Cedar Crest 47-13. Huge night for Tyler Karpinski. 402 all-purpose yards, that's 255 receiving yards, and he took a pair of uh, punt returns into the house from 75 and 70 yards out, so that's just an incredible night for him. Uh, the Streaks visit Penn Manor next Friday, that'll be a big one, that's a Section 1 showdown, uh, it should be a very good offensive matchup there. Uh, elsewhere, Lancaster Catholic, they lost to Penn Manor last week, but they bounced back this week tonight. Uh, they had a 33-7 win over Warwick. It was the Roman Clay show again for the Crusaders. 14 carries and 108 yards for Clay. Three touchdowns to boost his season total to 16. Carmelo Cruz also went over 100 for the Crusaders. And Sean Titus scored the other two touchdowns with a pair of TD grabs. And finally in Section 1, Wilson. Uh, they stayed tied with Penn Manor for first place. Uh, the Bulldogs got their fourth straight win, hammering Hempfield 56-6. Uh, the Dogs' defense led the way again, as it has for most of the year for Wilson. They had he limited Hempfield to 75 total yards and forced five turnovers. Javon Young, three touchdowns for the Bulldogs. Hempfield has lost four in a row after starting off 2-0. Okay, let's move on to Section 3. Uh, we got three games tonight in this section. First place Garden Spot improved to 6-0 with another big win. They stomped Anvil Cleona 43-14 in New Holland. Adam Haas, 111 yards, three touchdowns for Garden Spot, while the Spartan defense held Anvil to 90 total yards. So Garden Spot stays alone on top of Section 3 and won its sixth in a row. Elsewhere, Donegal stayed hot. The, their, their only loss of the season was to Garden Spot a couple of weeks back. 
They got a big win tonight, though. They destroyed Elko 41 0 behind Chris Trimby. He went over 100 yards and scored three touchdowns for the tribe. And in our last game of the evening, Columbia snaps a four game losing streak with a 22 0 win over Pequay Valley. Andrew Combs had two touchdown runs for the Crimson Tide, so they snap a long skid. Uh, the last game of the week involving a Lancaster Lebanon League team will be tomorrow. Northern Lebanon travels to Fleetwood. That game's at 7 o'clock. So there you have it. Another week down, four more games to go. Remember to pick up a copy of the print edition tomorrow for all of uh, tonight's game details. And be sure to visit my blog, The Huddle, during the week for all the other information you might need. Thanks again for watching tonight, and have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week. Good night.